First of all, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude uh, to the chair of uh, OIS uh, coordinator and uh, convener, Akshara and uh, Asiya and uh, and uh, Vaksha. Uh, because of these uh, three people uh, that uh, we said we are in is is initiated. And uh, it is continuing uh, as a successful program because of uh, these uh, three people. So, first of all, let me congratulate uh, Asriya, Rasha, and Arutak uh, Sharaj for taking a, an initiative uh, like this. Uh, you know, uh, my topic is uh, legal journalism and the constitution literacy. Uh, first of all, I would like to say what is actually constitution and the constitutional literacy, the importance of constitution and the constitutional literacy. I hope you have a better understanding of uh, the importance of constitution and the constitutional literacy because of the reason that we are in the legal profession. Uh, so, uh, Asya, can you change? Yeah. You know that uh, we are living in the largest democracy in the world. So, uh, you know, what is the meaning of democracy? Uh, if, uh, if you can answer the question, then uh, you can answer. Uh, and if you have any difficulty, then you can answer your, uh, you can uh, use your, the, our chat box for uh, putting your answers. So, um, because I am uh, asking some genuine question which are I think essential uh, in uh, today's discussion. So first of all, I would like to say that, uh, you know, that we are living in the largest democracy in the world. So what is actually uh, the definition of uh, democracy? Uh, you know, whether it is defined in, in the constitution, uh, anywhere it is defined in the constitution. Uh, so the answer is no, it is not defined in anywhere in Indian constitution. Uh, but uh, we are still saying the fact that we are living in the largest democracy in the world. So how can you understand the definition of uh, democracy? So a classical definition of democracy uh, has mentioned uh, by this uh, quote in the president of uh, United States of America. You know that uh, a small uh, speech uh, which is available online, uh, when you Google, get this first speech uh, by uh, Abraham Lincoln, then you will get the result. In that uh, speech, in the last area, I am only mentioning the last area of that speech, and in that uh, speech, in the last area, Abraham Lincoln said uh, that this nation uh, under God shall have a new birth of freedom. And that the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. So, you know, uh, this is actually one of the classical definition of uh, democracy, which is accepted all over the world. And we are also saying the fact that uh, we are the largest democracy of, uh, uh, of the world because of the reason that uh, uh, we have a government, and that government is created for the people, by the people, and uh, uh, and also for, and also of the people. Uh, so can you uh, take the next slide? You know, uh, uh, Indian constitution, as far as Indian constitution is concerned, uh, how can you analyze Abraham Lincoln's definition of democracy in India? Uh, you know, uh, the Indian constitution uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Ambedkar, Ambedkar uh, is uh, you know, the father of one of the modern constitution in the world, Indian constitution. And when you look into the preamble of the constitution, I think the next slide is uh, the preamble of the Indian constitution. Uh, so when you look into the preamble of the Indian constitution, it is very clearly mentioned that. Uh, can you take that uh, preamble of the Indian constitution? Yes. Uh, so we could see the uh, democracy as mentioned by uh, Abraham Lincoln here in the preamble of the Indian Constitution. For example, uh, we, the people of India, have solemnly resolved to constitute India in a sovereign, social, secular, democratic country. So, what Abraham Lincoln mentioned uh, in his speech is uh, there in the preamble of the Indian Constitution. 
So what is democracy? Democracy means uh, a, a government government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That is mentioned in the preamble of the constitution, by the people of India. So this is actually a classical uh, uh, page of uh, the Indian constitution. And uh, from this particular page itself, we understand the fact that uh, this country is a democratic country. Because the word democracy is there in the uh, preamble, and also uh, the people of India is also there. So, uh, you know, democracy is the creation of the constitution, and the constitution is the creation of the people. That is as mentioned in, in the preamble of the Indian constitution. That is, that is mentioned in the We the People of India. Therefore, mm, uh, therefore, it is very important that how can you understand a democratic state? Demo in every democratic state, uh, we can see a constitution and uh, this constitution is created by the people and that constitution makes a country uh, for example india is considered a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic so it has this preamble has two parts for example uh, first uh, what is actually the nature of the state the nature of the state is the state is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and what is actually the uh, the uh, what are the things that uh, the citizens need? So the, the, it is the responsibility of the state to ensure its citizens justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity. So what kind of justice uh, that the state has to ensure to its citizens? Social, economic, and, so, uh, and political justice, liberty in thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship equality in the matter of status and opportunities and promoting among uh, them all fraternity and the dignity of individuals and the unity and integrity of the country so three things are very very important as far as the citizens are concerned what are the three things the three things are justice liberty and equality so when uh, we the people of india when we create a state of a democratic state having some different uh, kinds of democratic values like sovereignty, socialism, secularism, and the public in nature, then, uh, we, uh, then we can say that we created a democratic state. That is reflected in the preamble of the Indian constitution. Therefore, that sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic state has a constitutional responsibility to, get, to ensure justice, liberty, and uh, equality uh, to its citizens. In case the state ensure all these things, automatically fraternity will come, and uh, on the basis of that fraternity, dignity, and uh, of the uh, or uh, when the fraternity comes, uh, uh, it, it will also reflect in individuals. Then uh, the, the the people will feel dignity, and uh, then it will automatically reflect in the system that uh, the state can also feel unity and integrity of the nation. Uh, so this is actually the uh, the most important point as far as Indian constitution is concerned. And this is uh, one of the major reasons why we are saying that India is actually a democratic country. This is the reason why we are saying that India is a democratic country. Because uh, the power is uh, originated from the people and which is specifically mentioned in the preamble of the constitution. So this country is not a country of any politician, this country is not a country of any judges, this country is not a uh, country of any constitutional institution. This country is actually a country of the people of India, that, as Abraham Lincoln said. So the question is, who are these people? That is also a very important point. Who are these people? So um, let me explain what are the other salient features of our constitution and how uh, it is constructed and what is what are why the constitution is so important and why the constitution literacy is also so important uh, as you understand you know who is uh, this person uh, can you guess this uh, particular person anybody uh, Chat box, you can uh, chat box. 
ആളുടെ പേര് ടാക്ക് ചെയ്ത് തരും ഇനി വരും പറ്റി നോ okay uh, so uh, this he is actually granville in austin you know that uh, uh, he wrote a book uh, you know uh, which is the book uh, written by granville in austin okay so that book is actually the uh, constitution the cornerstone of the nation now uh, Dan Millen of Austin is actually a very uh, expert, very well expert in uh, in many constitutions, including the Indian Constitution. Uh, and he predicted, he predicted in 1949 and 1950, and he said the Indian Constitution will survive only for 15 years. In the 15 years, uh, Indian Constitution will collapse. that was the prediction of granville in austin and the uh, ambedkar including ambedkar and the many people in the constituent assembly who drafted the constitution uh, who were in the first ministry uh, and also who were in the first parliament uh, they shocked because of the statement of granville in austin uh, because why granville in austin said uh, this particular statement because of the reason that uh, normally uh, one constitution will survive only 15 uh, to uh, 20 years that is actually the lifetime of uh, most of the constitution all over the world a uh, few exceptions are there like uh, the american constitution and the australian constitution and uh, some other constitution but normally one constitution will not survive more than 20 years so that may might be the reason why uh, granville in austin said indian constitution will not survive uh, and uh, i think it is not only uh, because of uh, that reason but uh, you know india was uh, actually the most diversified country during that period and uh, most illiterate country uh, most underdeveloped country and we have lot of uh, religious problems uh in this conflict are there and also uh, in the hindu religion the major uh, religion hindu religion also uh, there was lot of conflict because of this avarna philosophy and the chaturanga system that might be the reason why granville in austin said uh, our constitution will only survive for 15 uh, years but uh, you know indian constitution is still uh surviving and the indian constitution after 75 years of independence and indian constitution uh is one of the best constitution in the world uh, so uh you know uh, granville's austin's prediction uh was actually a false uh, one because uh what is the reason that uh, we are investigating why granville and austin failed uh his statement failed and it in constitution remaining as, uh, as one of the uh, one of the largest written sovereign socialist secular democratic republic constitution in the world what is the reason uh, we can just find out you know can we take this in a slide you know uh any guess uh, who is this person keshavananda bharati oh, okay okay very good so you know this keshavan in the bardi you know uh, is a malayali and uh, uh, there was a famous case reported in 1973 april 23 uh, and that case was the keshavan in the bardi vs state of kerala and uh, granville in austin's prediction was failed because of keshavan in the bardi because there was a great chance uh, to alter the structure of the constitution in such a way that the legislative wish or in a such a way the executive wish that was actually happened during 1950 to 1973 and there are lot of famous cases are there for example uh, shankar prasad's case sajjan singh case golakma case and in keshavan the bharati case uh, the honorable supreme court uh, held that uh, it was a classical judgment having uh, i think more than 100 pages and in uh, that was also the largest bench constituted ever uh, for uh, deciding a constitutional matter 
and uh, you know that uh, that uh, was a bench uh, consisting of 13 uh, judges of the honorable supreme court and in that case the honorable supreme court held that uh, and the court uh, introduced a new uh, concept which is an indian uh, concept uh, which uh, is there in some of the constitutions but at the same time it was actually a doctrine uh, which adopted by uh, the suggested by the party wala and uh, accepted by uh, the uh, honorable supreme court and that is what is called the basis structure of the constitution so without a basis structure a constitution cannot survive that is a very important point so what is actually the basis structure of the constitution i already mentioned so many things for example uh, the, the sovereignty of this country the socialism the secularism the democratic character of the government the uh, republican character of the government justice liberty equality fraternity unity of india and also so many other things like federal character of the constitution independence of the judiciary parliamentary form of democracy the human rights uh, the, some of the direct principles of state policies uh, all these are the basis that of indian constitution i will give you an example for example you know these are the virtues of the constitution without this that to be uh, uh, the constitution cannot survive and these are the virtues that makes the constitution as a democratic document and without which uh, constitution never be a democratic document so that was the findings of the honorable supreme court in uh, in this keshavan uh, dabari case and after that you know that uh, hundreds of documents uh, were delivered by the honorable supreme court and in that particular documents also the honorable supreme court held that uh, this basic structure doctrine is a very very valuable doctrine and the parliament has no authority to amend any provisions of the constitution uh, if uh, that amendment destroy the basic structure of the constitution so you know that uh, it is a very important thing. i will give you an example for example you know that uh, the most read book in the world can you, can you can you give an example of the most read books in the world bible yes so that is actually the right answer bible is the most read uh, book in the world and the Christianity is the number one religion in the world. Uh, you know that uh, if these are the basic structure of uh, Indian constitution, what are the basic structure of Bible? Anyone? Okay, so uh, when you read Bible, you will understand that there are some virtues that are there in the Bible. For example, the righteousness, the truth, the meaning of love, the forgiveness, peace and compassion. These are the uh, virtues we could see in the Bible and these are the basic foundation of the Bible. Without which Bible cannot stand. So that is the importance of the Constitution, you know. So uh, because of that reason, if it is taken away from the Bible, the Bible is just a dead letter. If this basic structure is taken away from the Constitution, the Constitution is actually a dead letter. So you will understand this um, when you deeply analyze the constitution in that way. And next slide. Okay. So, you know, uh, this is a very important uh, um, statement of, I just mentioning some of the statement of Dr. Ambedkar, uh, through which you will understand the meaning of democracy you will understand the meaning of constitutional values, constitutional morality, and you will understand the importance of democracy uh, 
and what is the difference between democracy and autocracy uh you know we have to uh, have a uh, system uh, where we uh, we have to ensure uh, as a democratic state not only political democracy but also social and uh, economic democracy that is a very important thing. and then we can look into this uh, statement uh, which is the uh, one of the important statement of uh, Khan Baker and uh, he made this statement in the constituent assembly uh, so uh, in politics we will have equality and uh, the recognition of the principle of one man and one vote one vote and one value in social and economic life we will have inequality and we shall by reason of our social and economic structure continue to deny the principles of one man one value philosophy how long shall we continue to deny equality in our social and economic life uh, if we continue to deny it for long we will do so only by putting our political democracy in peril so this is the one of the reason why uh, 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 Granville in Austin said uh, that Indian democracy will not survive. And uh, this is the one of the reasons why uh, the Granville in Austin said, and many other uh, constitutional philosophers also said Indian constitution will not survive because uh, they believe themselves that uh, as a country, we cannot ensure social, uh, uh, social justice and economic justice to our citizens. So we, uh, and, and it was also one of the major concern of uh, Dr. D.R. Ambedkar, because we, Dr. D.R. Ambedkar said that in politics, we will have an equality. So we achieved a, a, a political democracy in 1949 by providing one citizen, one uh, vote, and one status. Uh, but at the same time, uh, what is actually the uh, the, the uh, social democracy? And we never achieved a social democracy because of the reason that uh, because of, of the reason that our social and economic structure will never permit. Uh, the principles of one man and one value. That is a very, very important. So I think we are still uh, uh, struggling to uh, achieve these uh, very important concepts that mentioned by Dr. Ambedkar, uh, that is one man and one value. You know, Indian constitution is a very, very, very finest document which uh, uh, fundamentally stands on rule of law. But at the same time, we are struggling to uh, establish a one man, one, one value. So, uh, you know, it is, uh, whose responsibility it is? Is it the responsibility of the uh, citizen or is it the responsibility of the state to ensure one man and one value? Uh, so, can you uh, take the next slide? So, we have a responsibility to spread the constitutional ideas. That is a very important thing. I would say that because, uh, uh, you know, in our social structure and in our social behavior, and uh, when you look into our social rules, you could see that many philosophies are dominant philosophies are there. But at the same time, there is no constitutional philosophy that we are following in our social and uh, social and uh, uh, individual life. Why? Because many other philosophies, some philosophies are even foolish philosophies, and some philosophies which have no stance in a democratic country, and some philosophies have no democratic values, that philosophies are actually ruling society. Because of the reason that, uh, uh, you know, uh, nobody is there in order to spread the constitutional uh, philosophy, because it is the responsibility of the state it is actually the responsibility of the institutions created under the provisions of the constitution, the uh, legislature, the executive, the judiciary to promote the values of the constitution. 
But you know that you, we have, uh, for each and every aspect of life, we have a lot of missions and divisions. Can you say, in any point of time, uh, the central government or any other government taken this initiative, that the constitution, mission of constitutional literacy, no. It is because of the reason that they uh, are not accepting the constitutional values because constitutional values are more, uh, uh, more uh, we could see more holistic approach in the constitutional values. Because, uh, and uh, we could see uh, so many uh, humanism in the constitutional provisions. We could see a, uh, a, a, a spirituality in the constitutional provision. That is the one of the major reasons why there is a conflict between uh, the political philosophy of the rulers and uh, the constitutional philosophy. And that is the one of the reasons why they are intentionally uh, ignoring the constitutional principles. That is actually what is happening. And then not only it is happening, but uh, in recent time, what is actually happening, the uh, established governments, established under the Indian constitutions, are against the constitution because they are trying to destroy the socialist concept of the Indian constitution. They are trying to destroy the secularistic uh, concept of the constitution. They are trying to destroy the federal structure of the constitution. They are trying to destroy the parliamentary form of democracies. Uh, they are trying to destroy uh, the uh, important human rights of uh, individuals. They are frequently interfering to uh, 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 against uh, many of the human rights of the uh, citizens, especially an individual's uh, freedom, life, liberty, dignity, reputation, privacy. So they are interfering without any genuine reasons because they know the fact that uh, uh, and uh, uh, they have a, an a understanding that they are more powerful than the citizens of this country. That is actually a, uh, a wrong notion. Because uh, the people believe in that the politicians are more powerful than uh, the uh, people. And uh, the politicians are believing that the politicians are more powerful than uh, the people. And uh, the judges believe in that the judges are more powerful than the people. And the people also believe in that the judges are more powerful than the people. But the fact is that, according to the Constitution, after the preamble of the Indian Constitution, more than a judges or more than the politicians, the people are more powerful. So uh, the problem is uh, uh, nobody, nobody is intentionally, intentionally or intentionally spreading this idea of constitutional philosophy. So uh, uh, that is the reason why I am saying the fact that um, uh, to whom this responsibility lies. The spreading the constitutional idea, where this, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, hello? Yes. So uh, it is, Whose responsibility? It is the is it the responsibility of the citizen or it is the responsibility of the state to spread this idea? For example, Christianity. Uh, there is a uh, lot of people and uh, organized institutions are there for spreading Christianity. Islam. There is a lot of institutions, organizations are there for spreading uh, Islam. Hinduism. Even though it is organized, uh, people are trying to organize that religion. You know, uh, there are a lot of political ideas are there, and many uh, people are uh, uh, create new political parties and they are uh, very organized. But at the same time, uh, there is no organization or there is no uh, uh, community uh, intentionally spreading the constitutional idea. So that is actually the one of the major challenge that uh, Indian, I, in my point of view, in front of the Indian democracy. And so uh, the statement of Dr. Ambedkar is also, I think, very important. And because uh, Ambedkar said in the Constituent Assembly that humans are morals, 
so are ideas. An idea needs propagation as uh, much as plant needs water, otherwise both will wither and die. ഫിലോസഫി <laughs> constitutional philosophy because constitution stands on uh, one of the fundamental basic values for example justice liberty equality fraternity freedom life liberty uh, the constitution stands on some of the fundamental values so we can have a, a discussion of our philosophy with other philosophers for example we can come back uh, the indian constitution and the bible we can come there uh, indian constitution and the quran we can come there vida and indian constitution and we we'll, we also come there indian constitution and uh, uh, communist manifesto then we will understand the fact that indian constitution is more perfect than these documents why because indian constitution ensures some of the unique values without which man cannot survive so Uh, so that is the most important point i would say that so in the summary try to come on and i will take uh, only 10 minutes vishesha we can mind so ltr of the you know the ltr of we are promoting constitution appo ee constitution promote you know you know adina patti aalkar venam appo adinu vendittana ltr of is an organization promoting constitution appo nammle kutikalukku help cheyal enginaanu kutikalu help cheyina കുട്ടികളെ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കുട്ടികൾക്ക് എന്ത് പഠിക്കണം എന്നുള്ള ആഗ്രഹം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അവർക്ക് ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു അവരുടെ ഡ്രീം എന്താണ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ്രീം അവർക്ക് മുനിസിപ്പ് ആവണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവർക്ക് എ പി പി ആവണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവർക്ക് എൽ എൽ എം നേടണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ യു ജി സി നേടണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവർക്ക് മറ്റേതെങ്കിലും ജോബിൽ വരണോ എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ എൽ എൽ ബി സമയത്തെ അവർക്ക് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോംസ് ഒരുക്കി കൊടുക്കും ബിക്കോസ് വി ഡു ഹാവ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് ഓർ സിക്സ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം അതിൽ ലോ എക്സാംസ് ഉണ്ട് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് അക്കാഡമി ഉണ്ട് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് ടോട്ടിൽ ഉണ്ട് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് പോലീസ് ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് വി ഡു ഹാവ് ഓൾസോ എ എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ അപ്പൊ ഈ എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനലിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ഒന്ന് പോയിട്ട് ഒന്ന് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് അപ്പോ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്ന വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആദ്യം നമ്മൾ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇത്തരം ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റീസ് ആണ് ഇത്തരം ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റീസ് പ്രൊവൈഡ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ആ കുട്ടികളെ ദിസ് ഈസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഫ്രീ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഫ്രീ ഇത് നിങ്ങൾ ഒരു പേയ്മെന്റ് നടത്തേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ സർവീസ് എല്ലാം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടും അപ്പൊ ഇത് കിട്ടുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ നമ്മൾ സ്റ്റഡി ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഒരു ടീച്ചർ സെൻട്രിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള സ്റ്റഡി അല്ല ടീച്ചർ സെൻട്രിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള സ്റ്റഡിയുടെ ആവശ്യമില്ല ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ നിങ്ങൾ ഒന്ന് പഠിപ്പിക്കേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല യു ഹാവ് ദി എബിലിറ്റി ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവറി ആസ്പെക്ട് ഓഫ് ലോ പിന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വരുന്ന ചെറിയ ചെറിയ പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്താൽ മാത്രമേ ആ ഹെൽപ്പാണ് നമ്മൾ കൊടുക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ സ്റ്റുഡൻസിനെ എങ്ങനെ പഠിപ്പിക്കാം എന്നുള്ളതിനെ കുറിച്ച് നമ്മൾ നോക്കിയിട്ട് ഇപ്പൊ മുൻസിപ്പ് മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് ആണെങ്കിൽ യു വിൽ അനലൈസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പേഴ്സ് യു വിൽ അനലൈസ് ജഡ്ജ്മെന്റ് യു വിൽ പ്രസന്റ് ദി ടോപിക്സ് യു വിൽ പ്രസന്റ് ദ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ചോയ്സ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് യു വിൽ അനലൈസ് ജഡ്ജ്മെന്റ് ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ റൈറ്റ് എ ജഡ്ജ്മെന്റ് ദ സമറി ഓഫ് ദി ജഡ്ജ്മെന്റ് യു വിൽ അനലൈസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പേപ്പർ പേപ്പർ ടു മുൻസിപ്പ് മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ എന്നിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ തന്നെ അത് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് പോയിസിൽ പബ്ലിഷ് ചെയ്യുക ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ക്ലോസ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ലോ എക്സാംസ് ഡോട്ട് ഫോർ ഡോട്ട് ഇൻ ആൻഡ് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് അക്കാഡമി അതിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ കൊണ്ടുവരും ദെൻ യൂസർ നെയിം ബൈ യൂസിങ് യൂസർ നെയിം ആൻഡ് പാസ്വേഡ് യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദറ്റ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം കൂടാതെ എൽ എൽ എം പഠിക്കണം എന്നുള്ളവർക്ക് അത് പഠിക്കാം ലോ എക്സാംസിൽ പേഴ്സൺ ഉണ്ട് പിന്നെ യു ജി സി പാസ് ആവണം എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിന് വീഡിയോസ് ഉണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനലിൽ പോയിട്ട് പ്ലേലിസ്റ്റിൽ പോയിട്ട് ടി ഡി പി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് പോയി പോയി കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പ്ലാറ്റിനുള്ളതും യു ജി സിക്ക് ഉള്ളതും സിലബസ് അനുസരിച്ച് പിന്നെ അത് കൂടാതെ തന്നെ അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് പ്രൊഫസറുകളോട് മുഴുവൻ വീഡിയോസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അത് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് എക്സ്പെർട്ട് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ലോ കോളേജസ് എക്സ്പെർട്ട് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം അതർ നാഷണൽ ലോ സ്കൂൾസ് എക്സ്പെർട്ട് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം ദി അതർ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡന്റ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റീസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റീസ് ലൈക് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി വി ഐ ടി യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഈവൻ ജെൻഡൽ ഗവൺമെന്റ് സ്കൂൾ അപ്പോ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇതിലെ ഇൻഫോംഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് വേണം എന്നിട്ട് അതിൽ അവരെ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്തിട്
ഈ ഹെൽപ്പ് അവർക്ക് കൊടുക്കുന്നത് അവര് സൊസൈറ്റിക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് കൊടുക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് സോ വി ഡു ഹാവ് സെന്റേഴ്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ നമുക്ക് സെന്റർ ഫോർ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ലിറ്ററസീസ് കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ പ്രൊബേഷൻ സെന്റർ ഈസ് ദേ വിമണൻ ചൈൽഡ് സെന്റർ ഈസ് ദേ ഏരിയ സെന്റർ ഈസ് ദേ Uh, and uh, we do have uh, municipal magistrate examination training center ingena ella center ilum oru center il ninnu associate cheyam namlu kudal center il ninnu associate cheyanu nu parayunnilla you have to focus at least one center namlu ini adutha oru rendu moonu centers kuda kondu varan aagrahikkunnundu adhaayidu center for differently able center for uh, aged parents and the center for transgenders appo idinella kutigale വന്നിട്ട് അവര് ഒരു വോളണ്ടറി പ്രബോണ വർക്ക് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഹെൽപ് ദി ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ലാസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഇയേഴ്സ് കൊണ്ടിട്ട് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് ചെയ്തത് വൺ തൗസൻഡ് ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് അക്കാഡമിക് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ആണ് വൺ തൗസൻഡ് ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് അക്കാഡമിക് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഇയേഴ്സ് കൊണ്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് അതിൽ റൈറ്റിംഗ്സ് ഓഫ് ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ഉണ്ട് വീഡിയോ പ്രസന്റേഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് അക്കാഡമിക് വർക്ക്സ് ഉണ്ട് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ചോയ്സ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസിന്റെ പ്രസന്റേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് വെബിനാർസ് ഉണ്ട് Uh, and uh, <coughs> case law discussions und interviews und uh, idellam all these things are almost uh, 450 academic videos are available in our youtube channel much more uh, videos are available in our uh, closed platform egadesham uh, 380 360 articles research work um much information is published so no other institution in kerala did such a uh, academic work uh, uh, for the last 3 years i think oru uh, institution chey dipil nambare i am not saying that uh, we are the best fashion nammal parayunnathu you know it is a initiative uh, that uh, uh, in the point that we do namukku oru model kaanikkan pattu ഇപ്പൊ ഒരു മോഡൽ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അതായത് വിത്തൌട്ട് എനി മണി യുനോ നമ്മൾ ഇതൊന്നും കാശ് വാങ്ങിട്ടല്ല ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മള് നമ്മളുടേതായിട്ട് താല്പര്യമുള്ളവരുടെ നിന്ന് വി ആർ നമ്മള് വി ഐ എം കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ടി മൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആർ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ടി മൈ വൈഫ് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ടി ഇങ്ങനെ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷനിലൂടെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഈ ഒരു ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവിന് സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നത് മണി ഡസൻ മാറ്റർ മണി അല്ല പ്രശ്നം നമ്മൾ സർവീസ് ചെയ്യാൻ താല്പര്യം ഉണ്ടായി കഴിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വി ക്യാൻ ഡു lot of thing in the society because it is our responsibility as a legal professional it is my responsibility as a legal professional and it is your responsibility as a legal professional number one number two is there is a mismatch there is a clear mismatch in between what we learn and what is actually practically happening in the society adu ningal onnu parishodhichu nokkiya you will understand so who are responsible to tackle this mismatch that uh, we learn and uh, practically happening it is only the legal professionals the judges the lawyers the prosecutors the teachers the law students so adinu nammal try cheyano nalladana ende oru ayipraya adu kondu thane ippo nammal ella constitutional literacy de cases report cheyana for example we are encouraging the constitutional literacy as are cheyidalum we are encouraging we are having an association with other organization for example center for constitutional literacy de convener parvati ee program la undu pinne adu kuda thane law ldrf inde pala editors um ee program la undu adu kuda thane anjali is there anjali constitutional ambassador aayittu nammude programs cheyidana anjali de videos ningalku youtube il kaanan pattum റൈറ്റിംഗ്സ് എൽ ജി ആർ എഫ് പോയിസിൽ കാണാൻ പറ്റും പിന്നെ മനു കൃഷ്ണ ഐസ് പിന്നെ അങ്ങനെ പഠിക്കുന്ന കുട്ടിയാണ് അപ്പോ തേർഡ് സെമസ്റ്ററിൽ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ലോ കോളേജിൽ പഠിക്കുന്ന കുട്ടിയാണ് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യം എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്താണ് വേണ്ടത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടത് മൂന്ന് കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ആസ് എ ലീഗൽ പ്രൊഫഷണൽ നമ്പർ വൺ ഈസ് നോളജ് ലീഗൽ നോളജ് നമ്പർ ടു ഈസ് skills different skills number 3 is a character character is also very appo idha nammal kutigalile inculcate cheyid avarle adu develop cheyidunna mathrame they can solve the uh, very important problems of the society adond namukku ipo 2022 le young talent nammal publish cheyid you know that when you look into ldr courses you will understand young talent 2022 nu orayumbo avaru cheyida work um avaru cheyida activities ella kaanan mathu അവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഒരു ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഫൈവ് ടു ടെൻ ആൾക്കാരെ ഐഡന്റിഫൈ ചെയ്തിട്ട് പബ്ലിഷ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ
that uh, we identified almost 25 to 50 uh, law students, uh, law graduates, as end talent of 2023. So, we are activating the institutions. For example, Kerala Tilana, Arjota, Kerala, Kerala, constitutional literacy, Pedinitan. Colin Dilana, constitutional literacy, Samburna at Nadia. Uh, Jilla. In the career, the other LDR first published. Collette were activities in the report is one. The Alexi published an article which is available in Kerala model. Apo Adil Paranit, Dengan and Collette, constitutional letters in another country. And we established a lot of constitutional literacy centers in MLA's constituencies. For example, Cherenke constituency in uh, IB Sadisha Village constituency. We are associating with the program in IB Sadisha Village constituency of Kong and in Nedbangar constituency. And we established a social justice cell in, uh, in Chertala constituency in St. Michael's College, LGR, in association with the social justice department and MLA, Agriculture Minister. Uh, uh, then uh, we are we are having an association with the KELSA. We the constitutional literacy in uh, celebrate in association with the uh, and DLSA and the Center for Constitutional Literacy, LGR. And uh, uh, you know, uh, and the social justice department. Every uh, day, probation. Probation in the intensive at any portion of the research. We are doing our research, and the government is actually accepting our uh, reports. Now, the probation coordinate program that is done today, our government is number one. They just file the report. Then, this report in the design is done. Then, we have to check it. This problem is done. I already, I have already uh, 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 participated in some uh, open forums in Kerala. We can do that. There is no problem at all. We can activate the institution. If we have a lot of association with a lot of institutions in Kerala, including government law colleges. Because we did a, a, a webinar on sexual harassment in workplace in association with Kelsa and the, uh, government law college and uh, we did an internship program for our probation uh, in association with the uh, probation department, district probation office, Kohiko, and the government law college, Kohiko. So, uh, so, lastly, I would like to say that it is our responsibility to spread the constitutional ideas, it is our responsibility to spread the constitutional moralities. We have to inculcate that morality in our life. Doesn't matter whether we are Hindu, Christian, uh, uh, old, uh, whether we have uh, any other political philosophy. But we are the real democrats. And we are the real constitutionalists. So it is our responsibility to respect, uh, to treat other pe people equally and to respect their freedom. Just respect their life, dignity, and liberty, and also respect their privacy and their reputation. When you do that, then we can create an egalitarian society, which is one of the most important vision of the Indian constitution. Uh, so I would like to say that so it is our responsibility. suggestion. Because we can, we can uh, be a role model. Kerala can be a role model. I am not saying that some some other state can do that, but Kerala can be a role model in uh, constitutional literacy and uh, uh, spreading the constitutional awareness. So, can you uh, take the other slides? Uh, we can wind up the session. So, you know that the constitutional morality is not a natural sentiment. It is a statement of Dr. Ambedkar. It has to be cultivated. We must realize that our people have yet to learn it. Many Aryan religion. This is a statement he made in 1949. You know, this is still relevant because uh, Indian democracy is actually top risk in the Indian subsoil, which is essentially undemocratic. So, can I take the next slide? So I would like to suggest some books. 
these books are very important because as a law student, as a legal professional, in my point of view, you have to read uh, two important subjects. In my point of view, it is every day we have we have a responsibility to read constitution. And we have a responsibility to read legal theories because the real philosophy of law lies on the legal theories. So it is my suggestion. So I would like to say that uh, this uh, book is a very important book, Legal Profession and uh, Appointment of Judges, written by Justice Kate Chandru. You know that uh, JB is actually the real story of Justice uh, uh, Chandru. And uh, Justice Chandru is also associated with our some of our programs. So, uh, and it, uh, next one is, um, you know, the, the Court and the Constitution of India, it is written by O. Chinnaparedi, one of the legendary judge of uh, the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Uh, so, uh, you know, that uh, you, you can read Chinnaparedi also, because Chinnaparedi is one of the uh, greatest judge, like Justice V.R. Krishnayar and uh, Justice Bhagavati. Yes. And also, it is a very important book. I would say that the transformative constitution written by Gautam Bhatia. I think uh, this book is available in your library. So you just read this book, then you will get a clear understanding of uh, our constitution and uh, what are the democratic values and how can uh, a constitution, uh, how do the constitution can change the society? That is a very important point. And also, one of the autobiography of one of the legendary judges of uh, the Honorable of the Supreme Court of India, and he is also a Malayali, Justice Vyar Krishnayar, wandering in many worlds, and also one of the finest uh, lawyer of uh, Indian Supreme Court, Kalyas uh, Medeman, God save the Honorable Supreme Court. And uh, these are the some of the activities I already mentioned that LDR of. Uh, is doing so uh number of us and uh, we can uh we can implement the vision of uh vision which is there in the indian constitution because of the reason that it is our moral and uh, legal responsibility in your image